And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Leading off for Atlanta, the right fielder, number 13. Ronald and the pitch. Jr. That's off the mark. Right, and this one is off and running. And there's the strike. The next offering misses. And it's two and one. Next offering misses. Three balls and a strike. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups would pop in the leadoff spot, and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did, start the game off with a huge bang. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Two and one now. Scherzer deals. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Three and one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. And that's a base hit. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. That is third. The second baseman. Ozzie Albies. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter. Austin Riley. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. In there for strike one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Next offering is downstairs. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. That is it. The catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch, and he just misses. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Popped up. Escobar under it. Pulls it in for the out. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Batting six. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long. But he's got to find a way to shake it off. Keep it isolated to one inning. Come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. And that's in there for strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. 
Next offering is down low. And it's one and two. In the air, right field. Alonso makes his way towards it. Snags it for the second out. Dansby Swanson stands in. The short well, lots of pitches thrown Dansby. in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Scherzer deals. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. So here's Scherzer. And ball one. And it's even up. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Stays alive. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. We go to the bottom of the first. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. For the Mets, the shortstop, Francisco the pitch. Lindor. All one there. Here's a 1 1. Ground ball left side. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. So digging in, Eduardo Escobar, the switch hitter batting right. Eduardo Escobar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. pitch on the ground is short could be two over to Albies relay to first double play here's Starling Marte batting third the seventh fielder Starling Marte in there and it's 0-1 Next offering is in for a strike. Up the middle. On to first. Marte retired. That ends the frame. Top of the second. And here is Guillermo Heredia. Hitting off to the frame. The center fielder. Scherzer back to work. Backed off the plate that time. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning threw a lot of pitches. Fastball in for a strike. That's strike one. Next one just misses. Now two and two. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Get out of here, 
swing and a miss. Struck him out and one out now. Adam that Duvall at the plate. The designated hitter, Adam Duvall. In there for strike one. Oh, and two now. Foul ball. And the 2 He swings and fouls one off. That one to first. On the run, sends it over to first. Pitcher gets to the back for the out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's Acuna now. And first offering is fouled off. Chopped out in front of the plate. McCann to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Leading up for the Mets, the first baseman, Pete Alonso. And a pitch. There's the strike. Kicks and fires. And now one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Next pitch is popped up. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Here's Mark Canna. Batting fifth. The left fielder, Mark. Can I? And that's in there for strike one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Now it's J.D. Davis. Batting fifth, the third baseman. Free throws to first, and he's back in safely. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ouch. Well, that's a nice job of moving that runner up in the scoring position. It's not the most common way of getting it done. Probably a little painful, but now we'll see if they can cash in. Here is James McCann. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one is out of here. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Batting it. The designated hitter. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Man at first with one gone. Here's Brandon Back Nimmo. Up. The right fielder. Brandon Nimmo. Hard hit down the line and left. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. And the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. If he's already Francisco. singled in this game. In there and it's 0-1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether... Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. In from third is the tying run. It's 4-4. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. He's 0-4-1. Second baseman, Eduardo 
Good ball. Popped up right side. Albies gets under it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. No, I'm telling field. you, he Number is going to be six. frustrated with himself until Four his next lane. at bat. Mark Hay. And that one in the air center field. Paradia settles under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Leading Matt Olson. The, the first baseman, Matt Olson. Here comes a pitch. Charlie's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen stop. That one hooked foul. Tied at four. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. In there for strike one. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Next pitch misses. Ball one. Swing and a miss. One and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch misses inside, and the count's even at two. Next pitch has popped up. Alonso under it. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Austin Riley. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. First pitch, not close. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Bounced up the middle. Escobar with the throw to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here in Queens, and now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. The first baseman. The wind in the pitch. Alonzo. Fouled off. He was late. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Paradio puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. So up next for New York, Mark Canna. Singled and scored his first time. Canna. That's pitch downstairs. Ball one. Nope. Next one misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. The next three. offering misses, and it's 3-0. Oh. In for a strike, now 3-1. and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. 3-1 count, saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball to bring the count full. Down the left field line, looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Now it's J.D. Davis. Now batting, third baseman, J.D. Davis. First pitch, just misses. Tied up here in the early going. 
Next pitch is inside, and that's ball two. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Man, it's second. And that's outside. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And now a full count. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one hops against the fence. To second now, but he's safe. And a run comes in to score. One out, runner at second. James McCann in now. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. That's a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Jeff McNeil stands in. Up next to the net. The designated hitter. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering in the dirt, and that is ball one. On the ground, two ball. Quick feed to second for one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. Leading off for Atlanta, the catcher, Travis. And a pitch. There's a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Canna makes the catch. One up, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Ozuna stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is down low. One ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Scherzer ahead one and two. 